Hey, I thought I'd share on a vid how I got started with banners. There's a little bit of a backstory. Hope you don't mind. I uh, need to share it for it to make sense. So back in 2003 and 2004, I was working with um, my children in church. We would celebrate in the back <clears throat> and dance and uh, hadn't been a Christian very long. Um, and when I became a believer, I immediately began to uh, dance <laughs> and celebrate. Came out of the kingdom of darkness at 27 uh, into the kingdom of light, and it was a radical, life-changing moment for me. Um, you know, it's a story of um, you know abusive childhood and um, really lost. Um, Finding my way, getting married, started started having children. My second son was born, Jonathan Leonard, and uh, yeah, looked at him and looked at my other son, Justin, and said, "We got to get in church." Ended up, my husband and I uh, started going to the churches of Christ where he was raised, and I was raised seemingly of God. Parents left when I was thirteen, so hadn't been churched in a long time, and so we decided to try to venture out and go somewhere we're, we're, we were there five years during that time the lord <clears throat> uh during that those years the browns brownsville revival hit america and um ended up me and my husband started getting encounters in our home with jesus and just privately ourselves we began to seek the lord ended up getting to go there the lord baptized us in his spirit um I was actually, not a lot of people know this, I was actually commissioned into the dance ministry through Brownsville. Nobody laid their hands on me, said a thing to me. You know, we were just sort of like in this desert wilderness land, but we found the water. And so got back home. Um, we ended up leaving there, going into a spirit-filled interdenominational church. Ended up being there 17 years. Through those years, we um, ended up having another child so that she was number four. Uh, the Lord began to um, just, yeah, do what you don't know how to do, Charlotte. I know you don't know how to paint. I know you don't know how to dance. You're not a professional in any of those things. But I called you to do what you don't know how to do, not what you know how to do. So I, I said, hey, you know, I'm not a professional dancer. I don't know how to do this kind of ballet or anything that people are doing. I'll just celebrate in the back <laughs> with my kids. And so, yeah, that's what we did. And and I think nobody really was doing that with the children at the time at that church, Trinity. And so I was asked to pick up a little bit of fabric at the store and got the wrong stuff. Ended up, you know, the Lord was showing me, didn't matter what I didn't know how, as long as I kept going, he would, he would get, he would correct me and, and take me in the right direction. I think I grabbed some cotton fabric with Noah's Ark on it. <laughs> uh, we couldn't make anything out of that, but we ended up getting the right stuff, made some ribbons and some little tiny banners. And um, as that would carry on, I, um, yeah, I went through some ups and downs and some hills and some valleys, but I stuck with it. I had uh, those little, uh, you know, the, the horses have the little cups on the side of the eyes. I had those on, I had blinders on and I didn't see anybody rolling their eyes at me or talking behind my back. I just, I don't know. I just didn't see it. I was too busy jumping and yelling and, 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 and being very, very um, exuberant in my praise and thanking the Lord for taking me out of an abusive childhood of, of, of things that, you know, I can't even go into. Um, yeah. So that's a story all by itself. And so when I got saved, when I was 27, I definitely went out of darkness into light and didn't have any, you know, have any tools. Parents didn't really work with us and giving us any kind of, um, uh, any kind of uh, artistic uh, help as far as, you know, we didn't know how to play an instrument, never took a dance class, never was a cheerleader, didn't, of course, didn't even ever take any art classes in anywhere beyond school, much uh, in school, much less out of school. But the Lord kept telling me, I want you to do what you don't know how to do, not what you know how to do. And I just kept, and the Lord showed that to me. Um, it was one Wednesday <clears throat> service. Um, when my kids were all small. I don't even think I had Abigail was born. Um, 
Maybe she was just after she was born. Yeah, I think she was born a couple of years later she was born, but we were there. Um, no, matter of fact, I don't think she was born because when we started going to Trinity, that was in 96 and she wasn't, wasn't born until 2001. And so I was standing at the front of the church and looking towards, uh, I was looking towards the uh, office of the church and it was a glass pane. And um, the Lord spoke to me and said, Charlotte, I've, I've, uh, do you see do you see um, that office? I'll just put it that way. Do you see the office? And I said, uh, do you, and he, then he said, do you see the person in the office? And I said, yes, sir. And he said, he said, I've called that person to do what they know how to do, but I've called you to do what you don't know how to do. And from that moment on, that stuck in my spirit like a piece of gum sticking on the bottom of your shoe. I could not shake that. And I knew God had called me in to do it, but I didn't know how to do. So as the years went on and I just made mistakes, um, flubbered up and, you know, but I kept going. I didn't stop. I, 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 the Lord taught me how to, uh, um, he said, don't mind what people think about you, but always care. So I was never allowed to say, I don't care what you feel about my praise. I don't care what you feel about how I celebrate. Uh, I wasn't able, allowed to say that. I wasn't allowed to say, I don't care. Um, but he always taught me to say, you know, say that you don't mind, but you'll always care because care builds bridges and I always want you to care. So that kept me going and all the years go by and I'm, and I'm like, you know, one day I'm riding down the street and the Lord says, says to me, Charlotte, do you see that billboard? up um, to the right. It was to the right. I looked up there and I said, yes, sir, I do. He said, what is on that billboard? And I said, well, there's chicken. <laughs> there's a chicken advertisement on that billboard. He said, what's in that restaurant? And I said, no, I guess it's chicken. He said, that's what I want you to do. And that's what I've called you to do. What, that's what kind of banners that I've called you to make. <clears throat> and their banners these banners will be what you see is what you get. So if you um, see something on the banner, that's what the, the people are asking you to make. And I says, you want me to make billboards? And he says, what I want you to do is put words on um, the banners. I want you to put the words like what's on that billboard. Uh, yeah, like making billboards. When you see the billboard or when you see the sign uh, and they read the sign, it's going to be clear. It's going to be without interpretation. You're going to see it and they're going to believe it. And um, that's what they see is what they get. So I went back home and I was looking, uh, uh, decided I would go on my desktop and my husband's desktop and computer. And I was scrolling through and I was like, wow, you know, I don't know. You know, there's a lot of beautiful banners with paintings and gosh, I'm going to make word banners, man, that's, that's kind of cheesy. <laughs> it's like, don't make me do it. <laughs> but I didn't know how to do anything else. So, um, well, I didn't know how to do that either. Because remember, God said, I am called you to do what you don't know how to do. So I said, well, I don't know how to do that either. So I guess that's where I'm supposed to be. I'm supposed to put words on banners. So I uh, went for it. And the first banner I made was a a really beautiful Jesus banner. And that's a whole story in itself how I got started with, um, I had no finances. I didn't even have two quarters to rub against. Uh, didn't have a job. My husband was working. I was staying home with our children. We had four, so there's no way I was ever gonna get a job and work. Uh, so I didn't have any money. Um, somebody, somebody ended up giving me some money. Uh, and before I even started selling, well, you couldn't sell banners unless you was a business. So I already knew that. So I didn't want to do that. Um, but the Lord ended up, and this is a whole story in itself itself. So I can't share that, but I, but I knew that I was supposed to put words on banners. And so I'm, I'm looking on my phone and just telling you a few that I started with, with God, all things are possible. I, I did that banner back then. Of course, Yahweh, Jesus, Yeshua, those were some of the ones that I've done. Um, now I've got some words that, that just recently, new wine, what you see is what you get. 
Let's see, we have Arise Warrior Bride, uh, Hosanna, Freedom. So what you see is what you get. Um, hallelujah, praise. Uh, signs, wonders, and miracles. What you see is what you get. <laughs> Lord, and Jesus Christ is Lord. What you see is what you get. Restored, what you see is what you get. Joyful, what you see is what you get. Uh, I can go on and on. I'll share a few more. Redeemer, what you see is what you get. Amazing grace, and the Lord show me that means deliver. He has delivered us. Healing, what you see is what you get. Glory, uh, breakthrough, what you see is what you get. And I'll stop right there. But um, uh, that's how I got started in doing uh, flags and banners. That's how I got started. It was uh, it's, it was just a journey. It took, it took a while to get to the place where um, I am now, you know, it's taken, that's, well, that was 12 years ago. Uh, when I first got started in, in just moving, uh, in movement, um, like I said, it was, uh, it was 95 uh, when Brownsville, the Brownsville, the Brownsville revival hit. And I had been saved about three years at that point, 92, 93, 94. So yeah, so praise God, and um, so I hope you enjoyed my testimony of how I got started, and I have enjoyed uh, seeing everyone else's uh, testimony and how that was such a beautiful journey in their lives also. You guys take care.